Along with all the walking simulators that have truly become a popular and successful genre, these interactive fictional text-based games are truly becoming walking simulators younger brother in some ways, allowing the player to flick through countless sources of reading material to put together a narrative left behind by their authors. Released in mid-2016 and made by Osmotic Studios, Orwell is an interactive text-based game where your choices really do impact on the lives of others. Think of a surveillance version of Papers, Please. But with a name like Orwell, this essentially is a modern Orwellian homage to 1984, making commentary on modern topics like the NSA, online security, and personal rights to expression, among other things. The game's story sets a tone pretty well to start off with. You play a citizen living outside of the country called The Nation. You are working for Orwell, the nation's new secret organization specializing in online security and investigations of terrorist and malicious acts via pouring through and surveilling the nation's citizens' online presences. A bomb has gone off in a plaza of the city of Bonton. Not even hiding how similar that sounds to Boston. Anyway, you view the camera footage to find your first person to investigate, as they are the only person caught on camera around the time of the attacks with a past criminal record. You are introduced to your supervisor, Symes, who walks you through the interface of Orwell, and it's all fairly basic and easy to pick up. Basically, via going through websites associated with each person you are profiling, you can take key pieces of information Orwell calls data chunks and compile it into the person's profile. The interesting thing is that you can upload irrelevant data, or data that may potentially be taken out of context. Orwell is quite a literal database, and things can be taken out of context quite easily to help incriminate those who may or may not be responsible for things that have potentially taken place. As you can tell, it's all fairly circumstantial though. When you upload particular data chunks, let's say a phone number, or the fact that they work at a particular place or study at a particular uni, those related websites become available for investigation and further reading. You'll also be given the ability to read live chats and listen in on phone calls as they are happening. The best thing about seeing these things live is the twist that the game takes place within these moments. Whilst I cannot show any of them here, the calming tone of the game changes dramatically. The game goes from this calming background music to this intense ominous music suggesting that the worst has just been revealed. These moments made each episode so captivating, just wanting to see what was going to be happening next and what turns the game might take me later on. Orwell is comprised of five episodes with a total playtime of five to seven hours. And with the nature of an episodic game, each episode ends with a cliffhanger and intrigue. The need to investigate and hunt down those responsible for these terrorist attacks is what makes this game so fun. As you are browsing through several websites, you may find contradictory facts, and this is where your choices really do start to matter, and it makes the game really interesting for that. You might have someone writing a serious blog condemning the attacks, and then on the offhand they say some backhanded comment in anger to someone over the phone. It's up to you to interpret and decide which fact you would like to upload. However, there was a fault to this at times. At points, I felt like the conflicting data wasn't really exactly conflicting, but that's just me being nitpicky. The whole point of investigating is to have as much evidence as you can until proven otherwise. It would have been nice to have an addition of each episode to potentially delete data chunks from people's profiles, but maybe limit that to two to three data chunks per episode. This would fall into the innocent until proven guilty, or in the circumstance of Orwell, it would be guilty until proven innocent. But that's one way I see this game could have been developed further. A really good thing this game has going for it is the characters, and man, does this game make you not like the people within the nation. Symes is your sassy supervisor, and that was one thing, and that was fine, but some of the people that you're investigating, they're just so cringy. And this was done on purpose to a degree, but at times I also felt that this was probably a result of the writing not being the best. Orwell's writing isn't exactly bad, but it's not exactly good either. It's kind of in the middle. Sometimes I notice inconsistent writing between the characters from episode to episode. That's just nitpicky stuff. There was one character who starts conversations in the most cringiest ways. He sounds like the type of dude who likes disturbed and doesn't really ever shower or shave, often making me say out loud, who talks like this? If this was done on purpose or not, well, I'm undecided, as the writing, like I said, it's just middle of the road. The story takes many twists and is pretty intense towards the end. The intrigue throughout my time of playing Orwell purely kept me playing. The need to figure out what was happening and who was responsible for this truly is the game's strongest aspect, and I'm keen to see what other games Osmotic Studios comes out with next. In terms of the ending, I'm kind of undecided on how I feel. It did prove that, you know, choices do matter, but at the same time, it just kind of was anticlimactic. You know, you have all this building up, all these twists, and then you kind of just get to make a decision and then that's it. But, you know, that 
that's most games, I guess. The game costs 10 bucks on Steam, Humble Bundle, and GOG, and it's a delight to play and I would recommend playing an episode a day, as it spreads the pacing up and allows you to enjoy the game at a steady pace. If you're looking for something different, yet intriguing, Oil is the game for you. If you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, hit the like and sub button. This is Shawnee Maurice from HiHoo. Thanks for watching.